Welcome to the Super X Multi Fidget Hand Spinner Build, the only two way spinner fidget that I've ever seen on YouTube. Here are the little deals spin, click, toggle, little spin here, like I said, second spin, red button, and the everyone's favorite, the marble trackball. Now let's get on with the build. Okay, you need some half inch pipe. It can be scrap pipe. You're gonna use two sections of this. One for the button, there it is, and one for the trackball. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, you need a cross. There you go. Two washers. Two four they call it 42 flat M6 washers. They just have to fit on here and you're going to use those to give a little less friction on either side of the pipe. All right. Then you can use a nut or a nylon lock nut. Okay. You're going to need a quarter inch screw, one inch, and this is going to be for this part of the build. All right, and then with that, you're going to need two more of the washers, a bearing race by one and a one and one quarter inch washer, and that's for here. You could use something different if you want. Totally up to you. Seven. Of these washers they're number 12 flat 3 8 inch hole and what's that for and I'll show you that's for inside the trackball that's what you hear a little bit of rattling and it's the counterweight the weight of this side all right of course a marble the marble can be any kind of color that you want probably the more color the better a rocker switch. Here's the other piece of PVC tubing and the red button from the previous build. Some super glue to glue it all together, although quite frankly, I, these are all pressure fit and they seem to work. This isn't, this is a heat, heat gun thing. The tools you'll need for this build is a 3 16th inch drill bit. A 5 8 inch countersink drill, a heat gun, pipe cutter. All right, so the first thing you need to do is drill this hole right here. And you're going to take and do this drill bit. But how are you going to figure out where to go? Well, if you look right up here close, you, can, you could probably eyeball it because you have this line here. There's a, there's a faint line right here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And then, so you got this cross, this cross, this cross. Eyeball it and it's about right there. And you could check it out with a straight edge if you're so inclined. Basically, you take this, here's the combination. Take one of the washers on one side and the other washer on this side. I have just the regular bolt, but, but you'll want to use a nylon because that really kind of keeps it in place and I just go all the way till the one you know one thread is showing on the bolt and you're good to go before you put in any of the other sides since you're gonna have to use the heat gun to put the bearing race in place you want to do these last okay in fact you could probably wait in installing this bolt until after you're done with the heat gun so the first part of the build is, like I said, this bearing race. Now I've showed that you could actually use the marker and kind of stain the metal. I wouldn't do this end here because typically that's where the kids are going to push their fingers and it may eventually wear off. So I've done the screw top. You put it on like this, patting it down, and it just gives them more color. And like I said, you could use the markers, you could use electrical tape, you could do anything you want here 
to kind of jazz this up. You could even spray paint it like I have in my other builds. Okay, so I've got this piece here. Now you want to have a washer that's going to offset you. So you put the washer on. All right. So that it kind of comes in here and, and, and will keep this bigger washer from being on here. Now, something I've done on other builds is I've taken a piece of um, plastic hose and I will try to find what the diameter of that is. It's basically, uh, you know, you could use almost anything. You could use tape. And the reason why you do this is to pressure fit into the bearing race because you can see with this. Okay, you're just a little off. So the pressure fit helps with that. And as you can see, I've been handling this side and it just it's already dried. So I'll put that on here like this. Alright, and then put the bearing race on. It's a little off maybe, so you have to make some adjustments at this point. And then you put the washer on here. You could put a lock washer. I'm gonna get that on there, I really am. And then you can use the nylon and cinch that down. You gotta make sure at this point, you wanna make sure that it, it's racing, it's running still good. Because once you put it in here, you're pretty much committed. Take your heat gun, heat up this side. It doesn't take long. When it starts getting a little soft, you press the bearing race in there. And you want to make sure that it's even. You can see where here it's you, there's a little bit of a bulge, and that's where it's heated up and kind of fused to the bearing race right here. You take a half inch piece of pipe. It doesn't have to be anything special. I put this in a vise actually, and then I press down and just ground down on that until you get it about there you can see where it's got a little bit of a lip on there okay and that's so that when you put the marble in you're maximizing the amount of surface area on the other side without making it so it pushes all the way through okay, and I did that with the bigger one like this and then then I sliced it off all right and so how much is that just for the record all right in millimeters I'm looking at Hard to do this with the camera. Well, let's use this. What am I doing? Okay, so in millimeters, we're looking at about five millimeters. Or, if you're an inches kind of person, uh, just over a quarter of an inch. Looks like one, two, three eighths. Like I said, the, the washers seem kind of extreme to have so many in there. But they, you, you stack them up in there like that. You make sure that the last washer is shiny side up. You put the marble. I'm going to use a different marble this time. I'm going to use this kind of crazy orange one. And then I've got little pieces of electrical tape. You may find that it fits right in there. And you just press down. You could super glue it if you really want to. But then you can't change the marbles out like I just did. You can actually get them to spin a little longer if, if you don't press down as much as I did on. Like if you saw it previously, it, well, that's not too bad. All right, for these builds, on this side and this side, and I'll show you on the tube here. Okay, so this is just, ironically enough, and I'll have a link to this one because I found this on Amazon and it really works well. You'll see that that just sits there and Pressure fits right in. All right, and that's uh, the fun little rocker switch. And then this one here is a red, just a red on and off switch, pressure switch, and um, it fits in there fairly well. I, okay, if you don't put those bare, if you don't put those washers in on this side, you'll get it will kind of be wonky. This one's fairly balanced now. It was it was when I first did it without the washers. I actually had another piece of uh, PVC tubing on the inside, and it, it kind of shook a lot in my hand. Now it's kind of more even. After a quick survey of some of my closest advisors, it was decided that tape 
really changes up the white. So I modified my first version and you can kind of see they have multiple colors now. Does everything that the previous version did. Just more colorful. There you go. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated.